Hello everyone, this is Anayat Mir with my new video. This video is about a VB script. When we use Active Directory and we have to map multiple drives for a user, we use a Visual Basic script using Active Directory. So let's take a look on those codes. It is a very simple operation. You just have to follow along my script. So I am going to create a new drive first. I have to look at how much room I have available. So I have my root drive full. So let's take one gigabyte out from my root drive. This is my domain. Host name is DC3. My domain name is ny1.com. I am going to reduce a little room from my local drive where I have my operating system. I will take out approximately one gigabyte. Then I am going to format this drive back as an E drive. So I can set up a drive label. The label is mapped drives. That makes sense because I am going to create multiple folders here. Then I am going to map those folders through a script under my active directory. We are going to use net log on folder for that script. So this is my empty drive. I am going to create a couple of folders, finance, second I will create marketing, I will create a third drive, I will give them a CRM, I will make one drive SQL, I will make one drive my SCCM, System Center configuration manager so through the script I will give them drive letters like maybe M N O P Q I am going to add everyone full control in a real production environment you have to use only the person who you want to allow access and then you have to enable access based enumeration currently because this is just a demo or test I am going to give everyone full control the purpose is just to use a script from your active directory and a script location will be your net logon folder on your domain so I am acting as a file server on domain as well so I have created all of these folders on my e drive which i have just created on my virtual computer which is a dc or domain controller so you can cancel this one it is already formatted the next is host name dc3 so dc3 is a domain i am going to use a domain user mike adding him into a, a server operators group in case if I have to log in back from a different location or from same server. So I actually gonna use two other computers MS3 and a second MS10 server. So this is my script name which I am going to add now log on script dot VBS. I will show you the script and I will populate this script with my codes. Turning on MS3, where I am going to test. The second will be MS10. This is the script. Pause the screen, take a look. I will try to add the script as well under the description or in my Dropbox. So I am uh, using my script. This is on my host, on my physical server. So I am going to map from my virtual to physical. This is under my S drive under PS. 
P as in power, S as in shell, power shell. I am copying this into my net logon folder from physical to virtual. Take a look once again and also my E drive where I have mapped anticipated folders. CRM, finance, marketing, SCCM, SQL. So we are going to map each folder with each letter. M N O P Q. It is very simple. It is very clear. As you can see, just make sure that you have to add the folder under your net log on. So this is my second server. M S three is the first. M S ten is the second. So I am going to log in through my ms3 first now i am going to go back into ms10 this is ms10 a second server so you click on this pc you should see all of those folders available those i can just open up these folders i have full permission just to show you one drive is enough so ms10 is good I am going back to MS3. You can see the drives are available under MS3 as well. So we just have mapped these all drives through group policy, not a group policy, through my net log on folder. And once again, before I close my lab, I will show you my script. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Keep watching. Bye.